some soft spoken, do some whispering and stuff because I am sick right now, so I don't know that I can whisper for that long. Um, but for right now, uh, yeah, I'm gonna brush this wig. I'm gonna talk to you guys, and it'll just be a good time. So, first focus of the evening is to brush these tangles out. You guys can't probably see, but this wig has so many tangles in it, um, just because it's really, really long. So, how is everyone
we will move into a bit of soft spoken for now. My voice is probably a little raspy, so maybe for some of you that'll be more soothing than normal. Um, yeah, so I, I've just been really trying to get like a sense of how much work can I do in one day? How much can I physically do? Um, today I actually did a really good job of like getting up and getting going and I'm trying to figure out like what habits I need to establish to keep that going. Oh my god, there is such a rat's nest in this. You can't see it, but I'm going to have to like section off this hair because I already have section, but this section is going to have to get broken down because this is just a mess in here. Oh, I should have done this way sooner. Um, this is like deep matting at this point. Um, let's just... trying to figure out the habits that I need to establish. Like, I am someone who likes to really take my time in the morning, and I need to get better about, like, just getting up and going. Like, getting up and changing my clothes and not staying in my pajamas, especially working from home. And then, you know, kind of figuring out from there. But I started this week off really well, so I'm going to try and carry it all the way through this week, and that'll give me a really good push right in before the holidays, and I think this wig just ate the bristle off my brush. It did. So, yeah, there's that. lighting dark today so you guys probably can't see a lot of what I'm doing but I figure if you're just trying to sleep or relax bright light probably isn't your friend in here. My cats are like enamored with the lamp right now, which of course they are because I'm trying to film. Not that they, like they literally don't care any other time. But right now they're like, why is this turned this way? Just like, is this uneven? 
sizes I need uh, for this, but that's okay. Because I will have lots of different kinds of rollers that do lots of different kinds of things, and I can make them all work. Did so, like, part of the reason why this month has been really hectic and I haven't gotten videos up is because we had my brother-in-law's wedding and it was great um but that took up like like weddings if you are in them which I wasn't in it but my husband was if you are in them they are like a week long affair so my brother-in-law got married on a Saturday, but really, we had to start getting ready on Wednesday for the wedding, and like making sure that we had everything we needed, that my dress fit, that like, you know, everything was good to go, that I knew what I was doing with my makeup and hair, and I ended up doing this really pretty like vintage look because I had a vintage dress, and it looked really good and like it ended up being a similar style to what I'm doing right now um but like weddings take like a whole week like so my husband was in the wedding so we had to pick up his tux and then you know make sure that fit and then Thursday they wanted to do like everybody go out and catch up kind of night because there wasn't going to be time the day of the wedding and so we went out and did that and then the Friday you have the rehearsal dinner so we had to go to that and the wedding is like half an hour away so that's not bad but you know it was you know you have to drive there and then we have animals, so we had to make sure that someone could feed and let out our animals while we were gone on Saturday. And then Saturday came, and, you know, the wedding didn't start till 4, but we had to be there at, like, 1. And then, you know, once you're there, I ended up finishing getting ready at the hotel that the wedding was at. And then you have the reception, and we didn't get home until about midnight. So then the next day, of course, we're exhausted, but I had to get up and then go get tickets for my dance show, and it was just like that whole week was like going, going, going nonstop. So I got like no work done, and then when I was finally able to sit down and work, it's taken me to like now to get back in the flow of working because when you work from home and you are like kind of freelance, you don't get the normal time off that other people get for life events, like weddings and stuff like that. Now, obviously for like, I have like sick time and vacation time and stuff, but that's because the way my company functions about like certain things you can do to earn paid time off. I'm not at that stage where I've like earned paid time off. So, um, you know, I'll get there eventually, but right now I don't really need it. But, we, you know, there's been, a, there's like bereavement and stuff if you have someone pass away and everything. Um, but yeah, we just were like, going, 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 and then it's like you need a vacation from the weekend you had. Like, it was nuts. So, I mean, it was a good time. There wasn't, like, a lot of dancing. Like, that's what I noticed is my husband's family is older, um, and so is mine. So when it gets to be, like, the time for everybody to, like, go to the dance floor and have a good time, like, and dance and stuff, nobody goes, and, like, no one did for ours, and to me, it's like, why did I even pay a DJ to come here if no one's gonna dance, like, we didn't pay a DJ, um, but, you know, 
they did and I felt really bad because like three people were dancing like even if it was younger I don't think they would dance like if you're picking up what I'm saying so yeah it was kind of like a bummer at certain parts just because I think the bride and groom were like really tired and probably could have like left and went to bed <laughs> but yeah they definitely wanted to like I mean they left like two days later for their honeymoon so they didn't even get to like enjoy the day after because they had to go home and pack and like get their animals taken care of so weddings are very they're a hectic hectic time and not that they aren't fun and magical and whatever, but, like, weddings, I truly think, are for the guests who come to them and not for the bride and groom. And it's, like, kind of cynical to say, but it's correct. <laughs> yeah, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, weddings are definitely for the guests. I mean, you spend all this money, and then you don't get to like I will say like my brother-in-law was pretty good about staying like with his wife the whole time um which we did that too like we made sure we were always together because a lot of the times you get separated and because you know you're talking to family and whatever and then you realize that you have only seen your new partner for like 20 minutes the whole day and that's when you were in front of a bunch of people like you don't I think couples that do that little like 20 minute break between their wedding like ceremony and pictures and all that stuff are so smart like I should have written that into our thing that we wanted but I didn't think about it till after but like I know my other brother-in-law got married last year or two years ago. I don't remember. I think this upcoming summer will be two years, so like a year ago. And at, there were certain points where like my friend married my brother-in-law, but there was like certain points where she was like, where is my husband? And I'm like, you shouldn't be asking that on your wedding day. Like, I think sometimes you have to just tell, like, the family and stuff that you want to talk to, like, hey, you're going to have to come find me because I I want to go, like, spend time with my wife. I don't think that's... If anything, I think your wedding is the day to be as selfish, not in, like, a bride summer way, but as sensibly selfish as possible. If someone tells you, like, you need to go talk to your family instead of spending time with your new husband, wife, partner, whoever, on your wedding day, they, they are wrong. Like, you should be able to be around your person. Like, that's your guys' day. That's like my, she's not really my sister-in-law, but we'll call her that for I think it's just easier to say it that way. Um, she, like, had to go to the bathroom for, like, an hour and a half. And people just kept coming up to her. And I was like, literally, tell your photographer to hold on a minute. And then you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> like, you, you are wearing the white dress. You are in charge of the situation. You know what I mean? Like, don't let other people dictate your day and that goes too if your family is like really sucky like don't let them ruin your day especially if you're paying if you're paying for your own wedding they can they can go elsewhere with that energy
Alright, so here's what the wig looks like with all the different rollers in it. Now, I'm going to take some of the pins out of here and put them in these rollers so they hold up more. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here just because you can probably tell my voice is really scratchy. But I'm going to have some role plays coming up for you guys soon. And thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you guys in the next one.